What's up, y'all? This is the Dayfarer from Far Farer, Farer Designs. This is a, made by a guy in Germany named David. He put a lot of hard work in this and it honestly pays off. This thing is sleek. It's a killer bag for daily carry plus gym stuff, but it can also be used as minimal travel. As I'm gonna show you in a second, it opens all the way up. You can pack it with quite a bit of stuff. It's got your laptop and some tech organization, tons of external pockets and places that you can put things for organization. And ultimately it's made from some really great materials. Like this guy is kind of crushing it. I'm really proud of him. So my gist on this bag, I'm gonna walk you through every single nook and cranny and feature here. But my gist here is that uh, it is a solid daily carry and gym bag option if that's something that matters to you and you like this aesthetic because look at it, it's kind of sleek, it's black, clean, clear, and it's made with great materials. So I mean like, I like this thing quite a bit. I think you might as well. Let's get into all the details. So first things first, looking around the outside of the bag, okay, you've got a water bottle holder over here that has a zipper here in case you don't need to use it. You don't want it flopping around, you could zip it up. Um, the zipper doesn't, I mean, it's got a little elastic there, so it doesn't end up saving you much space to just leave it out. But I always carry a water bottle, I like that. The other thing you gotta know about, solid handles. Love these side handles and the top handle. It's only a handle on one side, the water bottle side. Then on this side, look at this. One, two, three little zippers. What could they be for? These are three little quick access pockets, man. You've got one here. You got about, you know, iPhone size. It's thin, it's it's not, doesn't have a dimension to it and it's kind of hard to get stuff in and out of. That's one of the bummers for me on these kinds of pockets is I wish there was a little tiny bit of dimension uh, and it was easier to get stuff in and out of. But I'm not complaining because what's great is that I just have, you know, places to put my keys, places to put my, uh, there's a little key thing here as well. Uh, places to put my headphones, basically, frankly. And then here on the back is a little, Perfect size for your passport, kind of hide it in there type of deal. Really well designed and thoughtful on that. I like having that many little secret guys. The padding uh, on the back strap, I'll show you in a second. But first, just want to show you that, look at this. Oh, it goes all the way through. That is for plopping it right on top of your roller bag when you travel through. This guy who designed it says that whenever he travels, he always just brings a roller bag and this, wherever he goes. And he's living on the road all the time, digital nomad style. I respect that. And this is a good bag for that because you can fit a lot of gear inside of here that if you can't get it into your roller bag, you can fit more in. Now, the straps. First of all, there are optional hip pads uh, hip straps out here and one of them has a little pocket on it. I uh, I would opt for no no go on those because it's a small enough bag. But I mean, if you're carrying lead weights around, it might be a good idea. Then our materials uh, in here, we've got this nice sturdy, like really big air channel. So you're not gonna get real sweaty through the middle on the spine of your back. Uh, you've got a little lumbar support and stuff like that. Honestly, pretty solid stuff. So here's the size of the bag on me, all right? I am 5'10", about 190 pounds. I can definitely feel the comfort of that lumbar support down there. That one, it, it feels really comfortable. You just feel the, the, the padding on the back. Feels nice. I've got my chest strap on here, which is a, a uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a magnet. I'm trying to figure out exactly how, okay, so it slides like that. So you put it on and it slides. He uses these cool magnetic uh, clips uh, here and on the main clip, which I'll show you in a second, but it takes a little while to get used to how you're gonna do it. The good thing about these magnet guides is you can do it one-handed if you know how to do it. So the straps are quite comfortable. I mean, maybe overkill for a bag this size, but if you, again, are carrying lead plates, you'd be glad. Okay, there's one more pocket on the outside of the bag before we go into the main compartment, and that is right here. And it is perfect for like a magazine or what he ca has that you can get optional is like this tech organizer. So in that tech organizer, it's just like uh, some mesh pockets that end up having a little bit of dimension. Thank you for that one, David. I like that there's dimension in these pockets because that means you can throw your cords, you can throw your spare hard drive, you can throw your Mac charger or whatever, and it'll actually fit in there without like bulging too much. And then on this side, 
I don't know. I don't know what you put in here. I don't know. It's just one of those little, one of those cute little pouches. So you could put, you could put a, a small iPad in there or something. You could put a Kindle. You could put a magazine. Depends on just how futuristic you are. Okay. So unless I'm mistaken, oh wait, there's one more pocket on the outside of the bag. Actually, two features to show you. Number one, he's got accessories where you can attach lash straps down here at the bottom. Okay, these just allow you to put your, I don't know, your tripod or your yoga mat down there. I'm personally not much of a tripoder or a yoga matter, so I'll pull those off. But look down here. You see those little rip stops? See those little guys, those little eyelets? What it makes you think, what do you think that is? Guess, give me a guess. What do you think it is? No, you're wrong. It is not for uh, whatever you said it was, <laughs> it's for shoes. You're probably right, you're probably totally right. So there's a pocket in here for shoes because all you gym rats are like, I've got to bring my shoes around and honestly, they're disgusting. So it's got a pocket in here for your shoes. If you're like, I don't know, big old shoe person, I don't know if it'll fit, but I fit my size nines, my clean ass Nike size nines. I'm not a shoe guy, guys. I'm not a shoe guy. I don't know, I have to admit that. So I don't know, I like these though. These are those uh, Stefan Janowski's. They're pretty sweet. I fit them in perfect. You can get your shoes, you can get, you can get like, look, look how much my arm goes in there. And then if you don't need the shoe compartment, like me, I, I rarely need the shoe compartment. You, that little, it just has like a liner in there that keeps all the dirt and the smell from your other stuff. So it just falls all the way down to the bottom of the bag, not cutting into your capacity at all. Okay, so let's get into this guy. First thing I wanna talk about is it has a slight roll top thing, okay? And then you have a, a fidlock uh, attachment, which is dope. It's like, you just Magnets. How do they work? All right, I like this attachment. I like this attachment because just does that. No, no fiddling around, no sit. I like, I love these magnet kinds of attachments. It is totally, totally protective and, and I mean strong. It's not gonna be able to, to pop out unless you go clamp. So you get really used to it. Then check this out. You've got the top of the bag, all right? Which just has a little, it's like a little envelope flap that flips over. These sides you're gonna want to be pushing in as you close the bag, right? You're gonna be closing and pushing. We're closing and pushing in. That way we keep the moisture or any water or anything like that from getting into the bag. But check this out. This is, I think, a really good feature. On both sides of the bag is a zipper that comes all the way down, all right? Boom, we got these nice Hypalon zipper poles and I can open it up all the way. So look at that. I can see very clearly what I have packed in here. I've also got some pockets in here. Little bit of dimension again on this nice little mesh pocket here and then a totally flat sort of like I can hide stuff in there pocket. Now I just have a packing cube in here that's just a, a sack basically full of towels to give you a sense of the of the size of the th stuff in here. But what you can see is there's tons of room, right? It's got that kind of boxy rigid fabric so that or like some padding on the outside of the bag so it keeps its shape. Here's my shoe, uh, my shoe dingle my shoe dingus, right? And I can just push that up and out of the way. And then here as well, I have a, uh, a little envelope bit with an undies top for my papers. Business papers, man. So I like that you can zip this all the way open. A lot of roll tops have that as a disadvantage. You cannot get into the bag more ways than just through the roll top like that, right? So. I think that's a total innovation. It allows you to open it up, see exactly where your stuff is, close it right up. I think it's a killer design. Oh, and then I almost totally forgot to mention this pocket on the back top of the bag, which has a YKK aqua sealed zipper is, you guessed it, for your laptop. My 15 inch, 15 and a half inch MacBook Pro fits in there perfectly with about a half an inch to spare, I'd say. So, uh, you know, no frills and thrills, just a laptop compartment that is in fact raised up off the bottom of the bag quite a bit, it's protected well. Plus the back padding, this back thing is quite rigid. Uh, there's a plastic 
uh, rigid thing that back there, which is great because it helps distribute some of the weight, whatever you've got in there onto your hips. That's keeping your laptops really protected as well. Now, if you're interested in this bag, a couple other bags you might be interested in. Number one is the Wandered Perverky Pack. I have to say it again. The Provoke Pack is similar in that it has a roll top ballistic nylon on some of the parts up top, but then it has a more water resistant tarpaulin finish. It's got just as many pockets, if not maybe a little, maybe, maybe a little more, less on the outside. That's what I like about this is I've got those quick access guys over here. But if you like this size of bag, if you like this look of the bag, you might like the Wandered Perverky or the Provoke pack. Um, it's something to check out. I'll put a link to that somewhere around here or in the description below. And then you might also wanna check out the Air Duffel Pack, A-E-R Duffel Pack. I put I did a review on both these bags. Uh, you should check out that one because it's similar size, though I'd have to say I greatly prefer this one, honestly. It has more pockets on the outside. It has a better access to the inside of the bag. I don't like the Air Duffels sort of down the middle thing. It's fine because you have, you have a lot of capacity in it and fix your organization for your text stuff well but ultimately it's not my that that air duffel is not my favorite version of a bag like this i would go for this bag to be honest and to sweeten the deal everything here is made really well on this guy i, I don't know if i called this out but ballistic nylon here we got a ripstop lining on the inside Fidlock and Duraflex buckles, YKK uh, aqua guard zippers that have been that have been sealed against the rain and stuff like that really well designed I, I i think that uh that if you got this bag you'd be stoked with it for many years to come so if you do decide to get this bag or any of the other bags in my channel make sure you use the link below to check it out because if you purchase it does help support the channel and i appreciate that greatly uh i'm not sure if this one we've got that sort of affiliate deal but on other bags we do if you dig this bag click through the link and it supports the channel my wife thanks you and she's literally down there with my child right now, letting me record a bag video. I mean, I'm getting away with murder at this point, all because some of you purchase when you, uh, when you do purchase, you use the link in the description. So I love you people. So there it is. That's the Dayfarer by Farer Design. I love this. Great, great job from the German dude, David. I hope I'm getting that right. I hope he's actually German and not just, like, I'm not doing that American like, he was foreign. Thank you guys for watching. I honestly love getting to have a relationship with you all in YouTube. So if you like this kind of video, if you like bags or other reviews, I'm hoping to do more reviews in the future. Subscribe and hang out and ask questions in the comments. I'll answer them as I am able to. And finally, if you'd like some more of me, I don't know why necessarily would, Actually, I do. I mean, it's kind of, it's like, you. it's like, what's going to come out of his mouth next? I do a podcast called The Fizzle Show. It's for people who have started their own business or who want to start their own business. What I call indie entrepreneurs. You can find out more about it at fizzleshow.co. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Bagworks.co. Jaceries.net. Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.